there was this guy called Saul walking on the road to Damascus in in Syria. He was looking for Christians to persecute. He, he hated Christians, these followers of Jesus. All of a sudden there was this bright, shining light and he, he fell to the ground. Jesus said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? You know, the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch, then in Syria. This was the beginning of the church 2,000 years ago. The church in Syria has survived since way back, with a story as, as old as Christianity itself. But today, the future is looking dim. In the midst of this civil war, Christians are facing a real darkness. Bombings, killings, people are living in insecurity and poverty. The church is on its knees, totally depending on God. Though some are still there, choosing to stay, to let their light shine. With each night comes new fears, people are disappearing. An endangered church. In Syria, bedtime stories are have to be a bit different. There's this pastor called Pastor Youssef and every night he tucks his daughters into bed and tells them if a bomb explodes it may hurt a little but if we die we will close our eyes here and reopen them in heaven. Jesus said to his followers, you are the light of the world, like a city on a hill that, that cannot be hidden. And we are called to bring light to the darkest places. One Syrian Christian said, if the church leaves Syria, Syria will be spiritually destroyed. Despite all they face, the the Syrian church is doing all they can to, to help others survive. They renew their faith in the midst of this crisis. Pastor Youssef, he told us, if we keep praying, God will do something incredible. Their families, like Pastor Youssef's, need our support. Don't switch off to this reality. Help us empower the Syrian church to keep shining brightly.